What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Team Runner here and welcome to week six of the Sub 74 Half Marathon Training Series. So welcome to week six and this week we have another big week. I'm gonna keep this intro short and sweet because I forgot to charge a GoPro after Saturday. So, we kickstart things with Moderate Monday and this week is going to be another big week leading into next week's taper for the Gloucester 10k. So we've got to go all in this week, as Matt would say. Um, we've got to give it our best and uh, really make the miles count this week so that we can have a nice well-earned rest next week. So, as I said, 70 minutes, moderate Monday today, out here on the beautiful trails. A little bit cooler today, so... And welcome to Wednesday. Curveball Wednesday today. So, long story short, I wasn't able to get out yesterday. I'll explain it all in tomorrow's easy run. Um, it was just a bit of a nightmare day. My poor wife rolled her ankle and it's swollen up massively and oh, it's a mess. But today uh, I've just put the baby down for a nap and she said, just go and get your run done. And I was like, oh, I love you, thank you. <laughs> so I'm just out here in the midday sun. It is like the hottest day of the week so far. It's like 21, 22 degrees right now. And uh, I'm actually feeling really fresh from yesterday's day off by the fact that in my warm up, I'm running 6.45s rather than seven somethings that I should be. Um, so I'm just getting the warm up done, heading down into Linear Park and we have 14 by 300 and then four by 200. The, th the 300s are at five flat pace and then the 200s are at 450 per mile pace. So we'll see how we get on today. I have to dial it back a little bit because of this heat is so hot but I'm actually really grateful I'm out here in the heat because the more I can do this the more that the autumn cooler temperatures will feel better don't forget heat training is a poor man's altitude training so we'll use what we can when we can it's time for me to start my tempo on my warm-up so yeah let's get on with it let's get this thing underway Seven done at the 14. Oh my life, it is so hot. First five were 55 seconds, last two were 56. So we don't keep fading. Okay, 300 is done. Oh my god, I'm knackered. Second half was 55s, 56s and 57s. So we didn't fade too badly. Now for 4x200. There we go. All done. 14 by 300 4 by 200 So the majority of those, as I said, were 55s. A few 56s and 57s sprinkled in, but on the whole, that was fantastic. That extra day's rest inevitably made me feel a lot fresher for today. So grateful that we got it done in this heat. My heart rate just topped out 181. I haven't seen it in the 180s for months. So I know I was working really hard there. And then the 200 at the end, they were just something or nothing I couldn't kick on. Uh, so I just had to hold pace. Uh, 37, 36, 38, then finished with 34. So I'd, I'd try my best on the last one, but on the whole, that was a really flipping solid workout, despite the heat. We got it done, we got it done in style. On to tomorrow. And welcome to Thursday. Today, we're keeping things nice and easy with an eight mile easy run. So as I said yesterday, things are swapped around. 
due to Tuesday not being able to get out there. So long story short, my poor wife, she's suffered with many ankle problems. I can't even remember what I said yesterday, but she's rolled her ankle on so many occasions. And the last time she rolled it about five years ago, she ruptured all of the tendons in her, her ankle. And uh, about four years ago, she had to have quadruple ankle ligament reconstruction surgery. So half her ankle's metal at the moment. And um, because she has hyperextendable joints as well, her ligaments are quite lax. So even though these sort of metal sheaths that they put in her ankle kind of help put the brakes on, um, it doesn't often stop her rolling. It just stops major damage occurring. But sadly, the roll was a good one, swollen right up and uh, she's sofa bound at the moment. So today's day three of that and uh, it's slowly starting to get better. So I skipped Tuesday because bigger things to worry about. Shifted the workout to Wednesday, today easy, tomorrow moderate, Friday, and then Saturday we'll do Thursday's workout plus 30 minutes uh, moderate just to top up the mile. So all in all, it should still be a 50 plus mile week. This won't quite be the high, uh, miles that I was expecting. So with that in mind, we keep the ball rolling, we keep going. Feeling good today, another afternoon run. Um, getting out in lunch break whilst baby's napping. Just enjoying the forest. Warm, muggy, humid, all of that stuff. I'll enjoy today. I'll see you tomorrow for the moderate. So welcome to Friday and we're out here doing a second moderate run of the week. So what I've decided to do today is do the industrial estate in state and linear park loop. It means I'm always close to home. I messaged the wife and said, if he wakes up, message me. I've got my phone on loud, I'll come home and deal with him. So I'm up out the door nice and early, 6 a.m. start. So hopefully we'll be able to complete the run. But on the whole today, feeling good. Back's a little bit tight. Um, done my stretching and rolling and all that jazz that I normally do, but uh, it is a little bit tight today. Struggling on the gentle inclines to uh, feel like I'm getting any power. Glutes feel like they're switched off a bit, but going down like right now, it's fine. So not a lot else to report. Just gonna get this one done. Bit of a grindy week this week, uh, nothing exciting. Still enjoying it, but uh, with what's been going on at home and lack of videos, you can see how busy life is at the moment. So I just kind of want to get this one done, put it to bed and just look forward to tomorrow's long run. Welcome to Saturday and today we have 20 by 2 minutes with 1 minute float recovery. And the 2 minutes are going to be done around a 5.40 pace. So we're going to be doing this out on the industrial estate which is a pain in the backside but it's been raining last night so the linear part is going to be a little bit slippy. I'm wearing the Atreyu so I just thought to myself just suck it up like a big boy, run on the tarmac and just deal with it. So we're going to try and do this this morning and then if we've got time afterwards because I'm on a bit of a tight time schedule I'm going to do 30 minutes moderate afterwards to top at the mileage but overall the goal of today, the purpose is all about these 20 by 2 minutes with 1 minute float recovery. So I'm quite excited about this one. I haven't run in the 540 range for a while. We've been doing workouts in the 520s and then anything above 6s. So let's see how we get on. Okay, 10 out of 20 done. Um, not feeling too bad today, but these ones always are a challenge. You can all unravel in the next 10. So uh, we're on pace, we'll see how we do. It's very humid. Ok, 
Okay, 20 by two minutes, done. We got the second 10 done. We did fade a little bit, we got into the 540s, which is actually where we're meant to go. So basically the first half were all 530s pretty much. And then I, I was just, I was feeling really good. Uh, humidity got me in the end, but I didn't let any go over 540 in the second half. So held strong, got tired, but held strong. And I'm gonna be, <sighs> gonna be honest with you, I'm not doing the moderate run, uh, which takes me to less than 50 miles this week. My head's just not in it. Um, there's a lot going on at the moment, which I'll explain in a future future video, family illnesses and all that sort of stuff. So there's a lot going on this end. And uh, I just kind of was out there and I just thought, just get the, se <coughs> get the session done and go home. I just need to, need to rest up. So that wraps up another solid week, a bit of a mishmash week, but we got everything done that we needed to get done, albeit not as much as I'd have liked. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I'll put all of the stats and stuff on screen at the end uh, for the weekly wrap up. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.